So we got S2P minus S1P is equal to x d by d therefore s2p minus s1p is called path difference is equal to x d by d now we will see the path difference for constructive interference and destructive interference so for constructive interference for constructive interference we know that the for constructive interference s2p minus s1p is n lambda so therefore n lambda is equal to x d by d so from this one we can write x is equal to n lambda capital d by small d So, x is equal to n lambda capital D by small d. So, for central fringe, n is equal to 0. Correspondingly, x is equal to 0. Second one, for the first bright fringe n is equal to 1 so we will get x1 is equal to capital lambda d by small d for the second bright fringe So we can write n is equal to 2, which corresponds to x2 is equal to 2 lambda d by small d. So for the nth fringe, nth bright fringe for n is equal to n. Therefore, xn is equal to n lambda d by small d. So like this, we can find out the bright fringes values. 2 lambda means uh, the order of the bright fringes is 1 is to 2 is to 3 is to up to so on n. So for dark fringes, next one. So we know that s2p differs s1p is equal to n plus half into lambda for dark fringes so therefore n plus half into lambda is equal to x d by d so from this one we can get x is equal to n plus half into capital lambda d by small d here the n values are from 0, 1, 2 and so on. So this is the value. So for first minimum, for dark fringes, first minima n is equal to 0. Therefore x is equal to lambda d by 2d. For second minimum, n is equal to 2. Therefore, x is equal to 2 plus half 5 by 2 into lambda d by n is equal to 0 is for the first minimum, but for second minimum, n is equal to 1, not 2. So therefore, we are substituting n is equal to 1. So 1 plus half is 3 by 2 into lambda d by d. Therefore, 3 lambda d by 2d. For third minimum, n 
x is equal n is equal to 2 therefore x is equal to if n is equal to 2 2 plus half is equal to 5 by 2 therefore 5 lambda d by 2d such like that for nth minima it is n plus half lambda d by d so these are the values we can say next we will find out fringe width beta next we will see the fringe width So what is the meaning of fringe width as the alternative pattern of dark and bright fringes are appeared in the interference pattern the gap between two consecutive dark fringes or two consecutive bright fringes is called fringe width the gap between two consecutive bright fringes or two consecutive dark fringes is called fringe width or fringe gap. It is denoted by beta. So we know that the nth ring or nth bright ring or dark fringe is at n lambda d by d. What about the n plus 1? Th? We know that n plus 1 of lambda d by d. Now the fringe width means xn plus 1 minus xn. Therefore beta is equal to xn plus 1 minus xn. So what is xn plus 1? n plus 1 into lambda d by d minus n lambda d by d. And we can take lambda d by d as common. And we will get n plus 1 minus n and then get cancelled lambda d by d therefore fringe width beta is equal to lambda into capital D by small d so fringe width beta is directly proportional to the wavelength of the light source used distance between the source to screen and distance between the slits means beta is inversely proportional to distance between the slits beta is directly proportional to wavelength and beta is directly proportional to distance between the screens to slit now we will see one problem which relates to this fringe width and spacing two slits made one millimeter apart and the screen is placed one meter away what is the fringe separation when blue green light of wavelength 500 nanometers is used? First see the content from that we can understand. There are two slits made one millimeter apart means the distance between the two slits is one millimeter which is small d. So we can write 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters. And the screen is placed one meter away means Distance between the slits to screen is 1 meter, capital D. What is the fringe separation when the blue-green light of wavelength 500 nanometer, nanometer is used? Fringe separation is beta. So therefore, beta is equal to lambda capital D by small d. So what is lambda 500 nanometers means 10 power minus 9? small d is capital D is 1 meter small d is 1 into 10 to the power of minus 3 meters 
So we can get 500 into 10 to the power of minus 6 meters. So what is this uh, 500 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 6 means 500 micrometers. We will try to convert into millimeters. So 500 by 1000 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 1000. Therefore, beta is equal to 5 by 10, 1 by 2, 0 0.5. 10 to the power of minus 6 into 10 cube, 10 to the power of minus 3. Therefore, 0 0.5 millimeters. This is the fringe width when this type of arrangement was done. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up. Please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on CBSE syllabus.